Hey, Valder. Well, good morning, Dr. Ian Smith. Nice to talk to you again. It's always wonderful to talk with you. Thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. I want to let my Dallas audience know and my global audience know that I'm talking to one of my favorite doctors, Dr. Ian Smith. He's a best-selling relationship author. He's host of the TV Doctors, and he's going to talk with you guys, all you online daters. He's going to talk with you guys about dating online, according to Dr. Ian Smith. Dr. Smith, what do you know? Now, my anniversary is on Valentine's Day, so be real careful. Here. Wow. That's a, great, that's a great anniversary. Well, you know, Valder, I wrote the book, The Truth About Men, and the reason why I wrote that book is I wanted people to really, women particularly, understand what it was from a guy's perspective. And it was a book that really was open about how guys think, why they do what they do, and it's particularly, you know, pressure around Valentine's Day. But online dating is where it is, Valder. I mean, so many people are online. I mean, I've been working with a group uh, called Zeusk.com, where they're the number one mobile app for online dating. And what I've learned working with them, Valder, is about it's not just any old online dating company that people have to be careful of. It's about making sure you have the right match. You know, they use smart technology where they're able to populate your matches uh, based kind of on smart technology, almost like Amazon does when you buy at Amazon. They give you suggestions down the road based on your previous purchases. You want to be smart where you go online to start dating. But I have five very simple uh, tips, Val, to help people. One is that face the facts. Listen, take control of what you're doing and how you're doing it. You know, you're not going to have that romantic comedy moment where someone falls out of the sky or you meet them at the grocery store. That really happens in the movies. You got to go online and be assertive. Be strategic. I mean, this is almost like a job search, Valder. You got to make sure you're putting yourself in the best light and you're out there thinking about who you really want and you're doing the things that are necessary uh, for success to come. Also, create a great profile. I mean, you want to win in your profile. Be honest. You always have to be honest, Valder. You know, people who are dishonest on their profiles, it may work for the short term. It's not going to work for the long term. Stay positive. Don't do things that are always negative. What you don't like, what you don't want. People are attracted to, to positive uh, feelings and positive energy. And also, make sure you're choosing wisely. I mean, at the end of the day, you can't be 100% sure this is the right person for you. But if you spend time really dialoguing with the person online, you ask them questions, maybe you, know, you join a site uh, that Facebook verifies the person to make sure they are who they say they are and that they're checking the photographs. I mean, really take these kind of cautionary measures, and you will find success online. Dr. Ian Smith, you've been talking about how to live a better life in so many aspects for quite a long time for such a young person. <laughs> <laughs> you have, I, and I've known that. You know I know that. But you, you always come with authoritative advice, advice that really, really works. So well, go, go ahead. ahead. No, well, you go I ahead. Just, uh, I just say I always speak, you know, I'm very passionate about what I do, and so if I'm not passionate about it, I don't typically sound off about it. And I think that, you know, things that are important to me, things that make sense to me, then I like to be educated and informed about it and, you know, try to spread that information. I mean, I'm all about empowering people, whether it's via their health or even, you know, their social aspect. And sometimes those two have a great interplay, for example, you know, finding a romantic uh, a partner. That's right. And now you're into online dating, helping people have some rules, because I don't think there's any rules out there. People are just doing it. Look, you've well, got to have guidelines for everything. Yeah, well, it's kind of the wild, wild west sometimes. And, you know, you, know, you should have some apprehension about online dating because, there are people who are doing wrong things, people who are not honest. There are some sites that are set up that aren't really legitimate. So, yeah, you should, ha you should always go into it with apprehension, but also with optimism. Because so many people are finding their significant others and their spouses online. I mean, we found that, uh, you know, two-thirds of people who set up online uh, uh, dating sites, or, or profiles on online dating sites, you know, about 25%, they end up with long-term relationships uh, and finding their spouses. So. There is success to be had. You just have to be cautious about it. And that's why I give these tips to people, because these kind of tips, and you check these off, will definitely improve your success. Where can they get the app from? Well, if they go to Zeusk.com, uh, you can set up a, a free profile, which is awesome, and get started. Velder, online dating is one of those situations where when you start, is a nice, steep learning curve, so you learn really quickly. But once you get going and become more familiar, then, you know, it's a lot of fun, and, you know, you really get a chance to meet some really interesting and wonderful people. Got to ask one more question. Any age restrictions? Uh, age restrictions. Yeah, you should be, uh, you know, you, you should not be a minor. Minors are not allowed to be on the site, uh, so that's very important. Um, but you can go all the way up. I mean, there are people in their 70s doing online dating. Online dating is for everyone now. Uh, but you want to go with a site that's reputable, that's credible, and really monitors manually who's on their site and what they're saying and doing. Dr. Ian Smith, you're the best-selling relationship author. I really appreciate your advice, and maybe my audience will take it also. Nice talking to you, Valdez. Thank you, as always. All right.